Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Because if you want to see your mind in action, you have to stay with it continuously. Otherwise, its span of attention goes for a little while, then stops, and then picks up again, stops again. And in the gaps, lots of interesting things are happening, but we're not paying attention. It's like going behind the scenes in a theater. If you sit in the audience, the curtain comes down, and then the curtain comes up, and it's on a totally different scene. And it creates a sense of illusion that you really are in a different place. If they kept the curtain up as they were changing the scenery, there wouldn't be much of an illusion. So to preserve the illusion, they, the curtain comes down. And it's the same with the mind. The curtain comes down, and then it comes up again, then it comes down again, it comes up again. And what's going on behind the scenes, we don't see. So when you're meditating, you're trying to get behind the scenes to see what happens as they change the scenery. You see the actors smoking and chatting. You see the stage hands running around. And it destroys the illusion. And this is an important thing, because the mind tends to lie to itself a lot. We have a lot of illusions inside about what's going on. And that way the mind tricks itself, and it ends up causing itself a lot of unnecessary suffering. So to see through that, you want to stay as continuously as possible with the breath. And notice that temptation to leave the breath for a little while and say, well, let's stop off and check this out for a second and then come back. And then check this out for a second and then come back. It's in those little seconds that the important things are happening. So try to be as continuous as possible in your attention. And you'll learn things about yourself that you might not have expected.